Gold has been around forever, for millennia. Gold has been used as currency. Even as far back as the ancient Egyptians, gold was thought to come from the gods. It was such a precious material. They would make rings and all kinds of stuff out of it and jewelry. And then as we go along, we see gold turn into currencies, turn into coins. Gold has always been there. It is a precious material that there's only limited supply. So that limited amount of supply creates value in it. You can't go out and replicate gold. Gold is only, there's only so much gold in the earth and we're eventually gonna run out of it. So it has created value in it. So should you invest in gold? Honestly, gold can be a really great investment if you do it right and if you understand what gold really is. So today, that's what we're gonna talk about is should you jump in and invest in gold? Let's get started. So let's start off by how you can buy gold. How can you invest in gold? Well, there's lots of different ways to buy gold. I mean, one of the easiest ways I talked about in the intro is you could buy jewelry. That's a good one. Um, there's a little bit of gold in, in my ring and probably your ring too if you're married. So you, you can always do that. But if you actually want to invest in gold, you can buy gold bars. And so, you know, you think about these big, giant, heavy gold bars. Yes, they do sell those. And yes, those are really expensive. They're not gonna move very easily because they are so big and so heavy. But you can buy a little tiny gold bars. I remember I was 20 years old, I was in Las Vegas, I was walking through the Golden Nugget. You can't stop if you're under 21 and you're on the casino floor. And there is a Golden Nugget vending machine. I don't know if it's still there, but you could buy gold. And they had some of the little tiny pieces of gold that you could buy and up to the bigger pieces. So you can buy really small quantities, really common to find one ounce of gold. Uh, you know, ounces of gold will trade, you know, we're just shy of 2,000 typically uh, when we're shooting this, so you can buy an ounce of gold. So you can buy physical gold. Another one you can do is you can buy ETFs. So that stands for Exchange Traded Fund. So typically this is gonna follow an asset. In this sense, it's talking about gold, but it can be anything. It could be stocks, it could be bonds. There's lots of different uh, exchange traded funds out there. So, but you can buy those. Typically that means that whoever's running that ETF is going to have gold backing that. So you should follow gold prices with that because you're actually buying into a share of physical gold that someone's holding. Another way that you can invest in gold is by investing in gold related stocks. So this would be mining companies, processors, people who are actually in the gold industry. Now this isn't always gonna follow exactly with what the gold prices are gonna be. So as gold prices go up, you know they may not go up as much. Uh, or let's say we run out of gold and no one can find any more gold. We've mined all the gold in the world. What do you think is gonna happen to that mining stock? The truth is it's probably gonna drop because they can't mine any new gold. So keep that in mind. Um, there's always people advocating to buy gold. Now there's people that are worried about the world coming to end and you need to have hard assets to own. Gold can be really good. It's a really good hedge. It is as old as time. It's millions of years old, not millions but it's super old and then civilization is thousands of years old being used as a currency. So why would you not at least own some of it in your portfolio? Because it really can be a solid investment. So our second topic we're gonna talk about with gold is using gold as an inflation hedge. Let's back up the truck a little bit and let's talk about what inflation is. Well, inflation is whenever the, your money, in our case, the United States dollar, becomes worth less. So, you know, what cost you a dollar tomorrow costs you a dollar 50 today. Well, that dollar doesn't buy the same thing as it did. So that's what is inflation. So what causes inflation? Well, there's lots of things. Um, it could be a shrinking economy, could be less faith in the dollar, there's lots of things. We're running on, in the Western world, we're running on uh, fiat currency, which essentially means there's nothing backing the money. In the United States, which is the world reserve currency, the United States dollar, the only thing backing the dollar is the faith of the United States government. If that faith were to ever erode, that dollar now becomes worth less. Um, we also are printing money. There's no limit to the amount of money we can print because there's not a finite asset backing it. So we can print more money. Well, as we print more money, what happens to the dollars that are already in circulation? They become worth less. So the more we print, we're shooting this in mid-2021, there's been a lot of money printed since coronavirus hit. And that's making the value of every other dollar worth less. So how do you protect yourself? Well, precious metals are a great way and gold is kind of the, the main one that people always turn to because as they print more money or as the value of the dollar becomes worth less, it's gonna make that gold increase in value. Does it really increase in value? Not necessarily because it's relative to the dollar. The dollar is becoming worth less, the gold's staying here, but that the dollar price is gonna go up. 
So gold is a finite resource. There's no more gold to be made. Only gold to be found at this point. But dollars, we can print them to infinity and beyond. So if you want to protect yourself against inflation, gold is a really good asset to own because it really won't change because it is a finite resource as compared to the fiat currency that is running most of the world. So the last reason we're gonna talk about for owning gold is to diversify your portfolio. You don't ever wanna own all one assets. As you probably heard from my other videos, I own a lot of real estate. Real estate is great, but I don't want to own all one assets. Assets, all one assets. Yes, okay. okay. Owning gold is a great resource to have for diversification. Well, why is that? Well, you don't want to have all your eggs in one basket. If you have all your eggs in, let's say, the stock market, that's gonna be really volatile a ride and you don't know what's gonna happen. Or like me, I own a lot of real estate. That doesn't mean that's all I own. I don't wanna own all real estate. I own gold, I own stocks, I own bonds. I own a lot of different assets. Majority of it is in real estate, that is true, but I do wanna own other assets to take advantage of those assets increasing as well. So gold is a really good investment to own. Typically what you're gonna see is whenever we hit a recession, the stock market is gonna collapse. Well, you're probably gonna see gold increase because people are gonna to go to safe havens and gold is very much viewed as a safe haven. So gold is a really good way to diversify and to reduce that risk. So make sure you have something that's safe, like gold in your portfolio. It will help you make more money at the end of the day. It will offset some of the risks that you have in other riskier assets. And you'll be happy as we continue to see inflation and gold continue to increase. Hope that you learned something today about gold. Gold is a great asset. It's been around for millennia. It is not going anywhere, most likely. Who knows what will happen? But it's not going anywhere. It's a great way to diversify your portfolio and to reduce inflation risk. What I want you to do today, if you've never bought gold, I want you to think about buying gold. I want you to go online and see what an ETF would cost, the minimum amount is. I want you to go and I want you to see what actual gold would cost if you went and bought physical gold. Think about it, look at it, come up with a game plan of how you can actually add gold to your portfolio. And then if you're gonna buy it physically, make sure you have a place to store it safely because if it's not stored safely, someone could easily steal it and it's not traceable like money can be. So if you've enjoyed this video, take a second to like, subscribe, share, comment below. We would love to hear your experience with gold. We would love for you to tell us how we can help you out. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you take a second to subscribe. I am Brian Mullins and I hope that you have a good day.